Welcome again. Rashford is available for today night's Carabao Cup tie with Crystal Palace. Despite a car crash, the Man United star, 25, was involved in a collision in Carrington after returning from Saturday night's victory at Burnley. Rashford was at the wheel when his 700,000 pounds Rolls Royce collided with a car being driven by a 74-year-old Gran and also hit a traffic light camera post. Greater Manchester Police said it is not investigating the accident further after deeming it a non-serious road traffic accident, with the matter now left for insurers to sort. The England international walked away unscathed and has pronounced himself fit for the home third-round clash, which kicks off at 8 p.m. and is live on Sky Sports. Rashford scored 30 goals in all competitions last campaign, a career-best contribution for a season. United go into the game boosted by the 1-0 win at Turf Moor, having previously lost three on the bounce. They are the holders of the competition after beating Newcastle in the final last term, but strangely refused to do a press conference ahead of the tie. Meanwhile, United have received a timely injury boost ahead of their midweek League Cup clash against Crystal Palace. Mason Mount and Maguire are both back in contention to play after returning from injury layoffs. Elsewhere, could any Man United stars be given game time in the League Cup tonight? Hannibal Majbri, who started at the weekend, may keep his place in the starting 11 given his good performance in the match. The likes of Garnacho and Facundo Pellistri should have some healthy minutes considering they did not play at all against Burnley. The likes of Dan Gore have been in and around the first team for some time now, so could be handed some minutes off the bench if the game goes according to plan. Reese Bennett may get some time too, considering United's current defensive woes at the back, with Maguire and Varane only just returning. Prospective Man United owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe is ready to rework his offer to buy the club, reports suggest. The British billionaire and Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim are both battling it out to buy the club off the Glazer family. Despite the American owners putting the side up for sale last November, no deal has been struck and negotiations have now hit a stalemate. However, Ratcliffe has not given up on his attempt to buy United. The Ineos chief and his advisors are looking to restructure their bid to end the takeover saga, claim Bloomberg, again and again. Manchester United fans fly Glazers out banner over NFL game. Protests against Manchester United's American owners, the Glazers went stateside as fans flew a Glazers out plane over a Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. Tampa, owned by the American family, were taking on the Philadelphia Eagles at the Raymond James Stadium in Florida when the plane was spotted. It comes amid growing uncertainty over the future of Manchester United after the Glazers put the club up for sale. Meanwhile, Johnny Evans has backed Eric Ten Hag amid criticism of his handling of United's stuttering early season form. Evans, 35, said, The manager's got a good thing going here. I'm a fan of the club, so I was able to watch them a lot last year. Been at both finals to support. Like I say, I think the manager's got a good thing going. On recent setbacks, he added, I've had some up and down moments at Man United over the years. I think you get that if you want to be at the top. You know, it's going to be very up and down. You've got to be able to deal with setbacks, and this club is a fantastic club. Always want to be challenging at the top, so it's all part and parcel of it. Elsewhere, Eric Ten Hag has hinted at a possible new role for Mason Mount amid United's ongoing squad issues. The ex-Chelsea star was deployed in midfield alongside Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro in the first two games of the season. However, injury cut his time in the role short, with Manchester United going on to sign Sofian Amrabat on loan and promote Hannibal Mabry into the first team, with the latter playing a starring role against Burnley. And now due to a lack of options, Mount could be shoehorned into a new role as a right midfielder. Mount played there in spells at Chelsea to a productive degree. This fact is not lost on Ten Hag, and when asked about a possible switch of position for Mount, he said, This has been discussed before, but we have options on the right, and we will see how we fill it in. We have the options, but also they have to be available, and then you have to get the routines in. But the principles and rules... They are clear. On the other side, Phil Jones has shared pictures of his new role in as a Manchester United Academy coach. 
Jones saw his contract at United expire in the summer, but has remained at the club after taking up a role in the academy. Taking to social media, he shared images of his new venture. He said, start of a new journey, again and again. Jaden Sancho has deactivated his Instagram account after reportedly being banned from Man United first team training. The 23-year-old was banished from the squad and Carrington, after refusing to apologize for his public rebuttal to criticism, aimed at him by Eric Ten Hag. But Sancho has now deactivated his Instagram page in a stunning move. He had 10 million followers on the account. Should United defeat Crystal Palace tonight, they will enter the draw for the League Cup fourth round. So when is it and where can you watch it? Solution is that the Carabao Cup fourth round draw will take place on Wednesday, September 27. It is scheduled to get underway immediately after Newcastle's mouth-watering match against Manchester City concludes, which kicks off at 8 p.m. British summertime. Ball numbers will be confirmed before the draw begins. Meanwhile, fans can watch the Carabao Cup fourth round draw live on Sky Sports Football. Now TV members will also be able to stream the entire draw live through the Now TV app. Alternatively, tune into Sunsport's blog for the fourth round draw, which includes post-draw reaction. So, here's all the key details for Man United's League Cup clash against Crystal Palace this evening. Possible starting 11 versus Palace. Eric Ten Hag has a massive headache for the clash against Crystal Palace. While his options in midfield and up front have received recent boosts, in defensive options remain scarce. Sergio Reguilon, the senior team's only fit left back, was forced off against Burnley. And while Rafael Varane came back into the fold in the match, he will not want to risk aggravating his injury by loading him with minutes too soon. Maguire and Mason Mount have returned to training but may not be ready to start. This could prompt Ten Hag to dive into the reserves, with Reese Bennett, who signed a new deal in the summer and featured in preseason, getting the nod in central defense with Johnny Evans. This would move Victor Lindelof to right back, with Diogo Dallo filling in as an impromptu left back. Sofian Amrabat may start in midfield to get vital minutes in the tank while he could play with Hannibal and McTominay to give legs in midfield with McTominay also freed from defensive responsibility and possibly able to play more like he is with Scotland. Alejandro Garnacho and Facundo Pellistri should start on the wings with Anthony Martial up front in order to rest the likes of Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hoylund. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag needs to break his own golden rule at Manchester United. Man United manager Eric Ten Hag would do well to rotate his side for tonight's Carabao Cup tie with Crystal Palace. Eric Ten Hag has already shown during his time at Manchester United that he's not afraid to make tough decisions. His attitude towards player unrest in the camp is a prime example of this. Cristiano Ronaldo was swiftly dealt with after his infamous interview with Piers Morgan and Jadon Sancho currently finds himself exiled from the first-team squad due to his response to the manager's criticism of him following the Arsenal defeat.